Hey guys, welcome back. Well, the two Volkswagens are finally finished. That was a long project, but it was a whole lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, we got the pickup in front of you, and we'll run through that first, and then we'll bring the uh, we'll bring the uh, fifth wheel into view in a second here. Um, of course, I mentioned that I was going to not use the side box sides on the model, but decided I was going to cut them in half and glued the tailgate on the end um, so that way I can utilize the box sides and still get a fifth wheel uh, recessed in this thing. Um, we ran 19 inch uh, Pegasus wheels on it. Um, did a simulated wood grain finish on the uh, box bed. Uh, basically primed that with a, an acrylic primer or acrylic uh, tan color and then used an artist oil paint and kind of dry brushed it uh, over the box uh, to get that simulated wood grain pattern. Actually works out pretty good. Simulates it alright. Um, what else have we got? Um, I debated whether I was going to exit exhaust out the side or the back. Um, I kind of went with the side. It was really the only option um, unless I was willing to um, cut the bumper up. Either make a notch in each bumper or make a couple of bumperettes and have it come straight out um, just either side of the license plate um, but because of the, the pickup sitting so low I decided we were going to go with the side exit on this baby hang on uh, what else oh hang on let's get the box sides off that just takes I can just take that off I haven't glued that on so depending on the look I want um, I can put it on or off. Um, what else have we got? Oh, uh, engine, of course, we used that Corvette motor and we buried it inside here. And this lid just closes on here perfectly. So we can get that motor uh, inside there. We'll get, get you a view of that in a second. Um, still got to work on my hinges on this thing. I'm not very good at hinges. I haven't had a whole lot of practice. It's probably the third set of hinges I've ever made in my 40 years of building models. But anyway, um, we'll run around the front. Of course, I got my little Canadian flags on there. That's the lapel pins. I just cut the pins off in the back and uh, glue the pins on there. And we, um, of course, decided we we're going to run cooling from the front. So I've cut the body on each side of the uh, nose on this and uh, we've got a couple of rads on either side of that nose just something um, low key and not too obtrusive I was going to make it bigger but decided I was just going to do like an oval uh, cut out on the front I think it complements the lines on the on the pickup follows the body line or the bumper line and uh, that worked out pretty good uh, what else have we got hang on we'll get you up here up a little higher and get you a top downish top downish view hang on there we go all right so we got motor in place uh, fifth wheel recessed of course and motor turned out good it it just fits under that um, under that deck lid and as I mentioned, I'm not too hot at making hinges, so this one doesn't close properly when the deck lid's on. So well, we're going to display it with the en oops with the engine up. Come on, work with me. Let's go. Come on, baby. Listen, don't be like that. Uh, with the we want to display it with the engine lid up so we can do this without knocking it down again yeah there we go so we got that motor in there and got it all plumbed up and I ran the uh, air intake up to the side of the box and we're gonna pretend of course it's got the air intake in the side panel for access in here um, no matter what kind of option I tried for uh, air intake air cleaner off the throttle body. I really wasn't happy with the look so we just ran a piece of um, oh, a piece of solder uh, from the throttle body up to this side panel 
and same with the uh, radiator cooling hoses we ran them up to the firewall I uh, just used solder for that again uh, batteries wired up alternators wired um, that's pretty much the detail for the engine compartment uh, what else do we got that's kind of it for the pickup truck it turned out really good I'm happy with it and my hinges we got to work on that but anyway so of course the when you buy this kit of course the beds all flat in it and it comes with these these stakes that you've got to run on here these ribs and of course they're all one piece to run the full length so I had to cut those individually um, individual lengths to fit the lid uh, the box itself allow room for the uh, box sides for the box side to go on and off kind of like so and run down to the back so it turned out pretty good I just um, basically what I did for those is I sprayed those with Molotow with my airbrush and then used a, an acrylic gloss sealer on them and they turned out pretty good not as good as chrome chrome but just shiny they're all right anyway let's bring you in uh, bring in the bus and we're gonna go back down for a sec hang on and this is as far back as this camera zooms so we're gonna we're gonna go on a little trip here hang on And find out where the locating pin is for the fifth wheel. There it goes. Now are we in view? No, we're not. Hang on. Back her up. There we go. Anyway, fifth wheel is a fun thing to build. So what I had to do first was decide on what my final ride height was going to be for the pickup truck. And then I then I could decide where I had to cut the front end of this to get this thing to get minimum clearance in here and the depth with the um, fifth wheel hitch hookup on it and it could have gone back just a titch more probably about an eighth of an inch uh, this fifth wheel will actually pivot uh, almost 180 degrees and still clear the corner of this pickup truck but it's close enough for the girls I go with um, and we use the um, uh, camper stuff out of the third kit out of the Westvalia and it worked out really good uh, we'll get around to that show you in a sec um, same wheels on the back um, I hinged or hinged the front uh, front windows on it basically what I did was rather than didn't need wipers on it so I uh, cut some uh, straight pins off uh, epoxied those in an upright position through the wiper holes and then just glued the glass in place and resting on top of the pin so just to simulate that the front windows uh, open and close on this um, what else did we do uh, we did a smoke tent on the windows across the top just used that Tamiya smoke um, and shot it through my airbrush watered it down a little bit just to get an even coat on it so it wasn't too thick um, that turned out good the pain in the butt in this whole freaking thing was trying to do this chrome foil down the side. Man, oh man, because the lines aren't very prominent to get a straight line out of it. If I was going to do it again, I'd probably use a straight edge when I went to chrome foil it and then just cut the straight edge from, or cut the foil from where it starts to curve to back at the corner. But that'll be next time, whenever that might be. Probably never, but anyway. Uh, the next situation I might get into, I might I might do that. Um, that was really the only disappointment in this whole freaking kit was that chrome foil. But anyway, as I say, it is what it is. Um, so with the camper, we've got um, different tops for it. It comes with this uh, full cover, kind of like a canvas cover on it. And you can change that out. And it's a tight fit. Hang on a second. You can change that out. That's the closed position. And then you got another one that they have optional that you can have for a open position, like so. Hang on, we're going up again. There we go. I zoom in a bit without losing the front and the back. 
probably a little bit like so. Oh, stop. Back up. There we go. Um, so you got the closed position. This is the open position where it kind of accordions and slides along there. And my glass isn't fitting properly. We'll have to deal with that. But anyway. And then you got your pop-up top. So depending on the look we want, depending on the look we want, we can either take this thing off or put it on. Like about so. Clear the windows. And of course I had to narrow uh, the base, uh, this top, and the canvas pop-up uh, section about 12 millimeters. So I could get this narrow enough to clear the top windows on this bus. Um, that was a kind of a pain in the ass, but anyway. Um, so we got that look. Then we can take this off. And we can put on the camper top, pop top. Come on. There we go. And then of course this top goes back on. Like so. So we got the camper pop up top that we can put on it depending on the look we want. Uh, what else? Um, maybe we can swing it around and show you the camper stuff. You've seen that on the previous video. But anyway, hang on a second. Let's get this off of here. Not off of there. All right, give me one sec. Do it this way. No, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. We'll swing you around. Get the truck out of the way. So we got the camper stuff installed in there. Kind of went with a 70s wood grain kind of finish. Tried to simulate a bed in the front and a little pillow. I guess where the kids can sleep because I think on the original Volkswagen the back seat here actually slides forward and that makes into a bed. Um, so of course the kids can sleep up front and it's got a little stereo in the in the roof part of it too. And um, yeah. Turned out good. Did our um, our uh, embossing powder on the uh, interior and the back in the back deck as well. And yeah, it turned out pretty good, guys and gals. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, come on, back in here. Find the hole. Where are you? Almost. There we go. And then I'm going to zoom the wrong way again, aren't I? Yep, always. Always. Anyway, boys and girls, that's the final on the Volkswagen build and the pickup truck and uh, the fifth wheel mod that we did. Turned out really good. I'm happy with it. So now it's time to figure out what we're going to build next. I haven't even thought about that yet. But we'll get you guys up to speed in the next uh, week or so and let you know what the next, uh, next project on the go is going to be. And uh, as usual, thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.